Welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. This episode, it's time to start producing some heavy modular frames. After hemming and hawing it for many, many minutes, I decided to go ahead and make the factory here because we need 54 heavy modular frames per minute. And it'll take 27 manufacturers. And I uh, decided to do it here in the ironworks. Um, because we... <laughs> We will end up needing 270 modular frames. Check, they're being made right over here. 800 in steel pipes, uh, just there on the other side of those columns. 270 encased industrial beams, again, just on the other side there. The kicker is 5,400 screws per minute. That is 6.9 belts of screws coming out of here. I wanted to keep the train traffic down and especially on this western corridor it i'm very seriously contemplating putting in a second layer and running the trains that go from the steel factory and well that i should say the the trains that do not pass here routing them up onto that second layer but uh it, still thinking about it everything is still working but again, that might change as the factories start coming up to speed. But anyway, so um, instead of transferring seven belts of screws over to the steel works, I'm just going to belt in the pipes and the encased industrial beams and bring them on over here. Pre-built the platform here. Um, oh, the kicker is oh, with... The manufacturer, yay, finally going to put these into a factory or facility. We're going to, again, use the standard heavy modular frame recipe. 10, 30, and 10 each. The big one is going to be screws. 200 per minute. Uh, yeah, now, here's some more math. 780, Mark 5 belt, divided by 200. That's 3.9 manufacturers per line. And we need 27 of them. 27 divided by 3.9. That's 6.9 rows. So we're gonna have to have seven rows of four. So that's 28 manufacturers. And uh, uh, yeah, we'll uh, underclock some of them to make it all work out. Uh, oh, where's, where's the screws? Here we go. Um, there, okay. We have, we're going to need seven. So there's one line left there. Two here. Two right there. And two more right there. And I believe almost all of the rest of the screws, plus what's around the corner there, are going to computers. I'm trying to get all the factories built before that do not require plastic or rubber and heavy modular frames is one of them and then there's motors or stators i should say then the motors uh and i uh, modular engines no i i'll have to double check but one thing at a time going on here so seven lines coming up and that's gonna take let's see that's gonna be four that's gonna take two lane or two foundations width here to handle that because we can put eight belts in or i should say four per foundation so we'll have a total of eight and then we're going to need one two three more lines so we'll give it this much room and probably plus uh splitters that we're going to need so we'll give it one more so this is going to be it now ah let's see you know what let, let me do this i'm going to put a marker here uh, is it this one yes there it is boom okay this is the row that we start. You know, in fact, let me just make it a little bit easier. Oh. This is the row where we start the uh, manufacturers. Okay, but if we're going to be having two lines come in from over here, 
They're going to come in here. They're going to have to go underneath right there and pop back up. Or do we keep them underneath and bring them out here and go straight up? Oh, no, because I don't want that floating right here. Okay, so we'll bring them along the line here and pop them up. Oh, gosh. Oh, that would actually look pretty cool. Have a... Bum, bum, bum. Let's see, we're going to have three lines, is it? Yes, uh, because uh, two for the steel pipes and one for the encased industrial beam. So that's going to be three. So we could have it, you know, just kind of, I don't know, pop up somewhere here like this. Yeah, and the trains are going by it. And Oh, okay. So it uh, looks like this one. Alrighty. And... Oh, are we gonna, no, we have to have them pop up over here. Ooh, is there going to be room? Let's see if we do this for the logistics right here. Oops. No, that's not going to work. Oh. Let's see, how far over can we bring them up? Okay, that's... Oh. Right, let, let's, let's try this. Oh, we're not going to be able to go very far. So if we pop them up... Right there. Okay. So, if we bring them up right here... Oh, wow, we're going to have... Okay, so we'll have just more room over here for the uh, belt work. So we will... Hmm... Is this yeah that's okay well this will make the cornerstone there of uh belt work popping up so the first the blueprint uh boom we shall put it in right here and oh come on come on just 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 give me one ooh what if we go to blueprint mode how does that work you know what, let's, uh, yeah, let's do something like that, yep. Because then, yeah, because then this merger is right there on the edge, and these guys over here should also be right here on the edge. All right, there's, there it is. Okay, so if we come in here and we'll get three more. Oh, come on. There we go. Two. Oh. Three. Oh, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I just threw down some random lengths. There we go. All right. That's four. And then we'll... uh. I don't know where the belt's going to go because we're going to have train stations down there. Okay. Oop. All right. There's four. Oh my gosh. We're going to need seven wide. Oh. Now the thing is, what if... Hmm. I was thinking of maybe taking the seven, having this, having them run this way, and going out seven, and then we could bring this out even further, and maybe even connect back into those uh, rocks there. And okay, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this out a little bit, and I'll show you what I come up with. So I'll see everybody in two seconds. Always remember, finished is better than perfect. So, uh, went ahead and did this. We're going to have the encased industrial beams going in this line. Pipes here and pipes here because they're going to have to be taken down there to the other end also. And then we will have the modular frames come in here. And then the screws will be coming in here. Boop, and coming down towards us, part half of it coming here and the other half going down over there. And uh, 
I decided to go ahead and lay these guys out here like this. So we'll bring this will be the first order of encased industrial beams. And come on, there we go. So then we'll have something like that. And then, uh, ooh, you know, we, oh, uh, pipes. Okay, how, ooh, let's do this. Actually, we will do that. Okay. So the first line of pipes will come up here. Zip on over there to that one. And then this guy will go right here. And we'll make sure that that is... Oh. oh, oh no, 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 no. That's right, because I had to space it out a little bit more. Okay, so if we come up to here, go one, two. And what I mean by spacing it is, I made it the width of the splitters in between those two. And then we will run that there to come up that. And <laughs> definitely not that. So how about we go there? All right. And then we'll run the belt that way. And take it on down there to that. Oh my gosh, that's way off. Oh. Oh, that that that's that was beyond fugly. Let's try it. Let, there, this should work out a hell of a lot better. Oh my gosh. And thank you for everybody that was uh, letting me know by screaming at the uh, screens. Okay, so then you can go. And you'll go there. Oh, that that's looking better. Oop, nope, we want to go from this direction first. Okay, so that way we make sure the belt's going in the right direction. And boom. Yeah, that's much better. And that one is still off. Remember, finished is better than perfect. Okay, so if we take this guy here. Oh, where, where are you? Oh, so you're going to be right there. Okay, so boom, boom. That should do it. And then run you down there. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Let's see if I can do this again. Third time's the charm. No. And nope, that was supposed to go over. No, perfect. Yeah, just as a change of pace, I've been trying to build without flying, just to get back to the old school building. And evidently, I need a lot more homework in the school. Yes. Okay, there, that one. Then, we are going to need to bring the uh, modular frames. And if we bring them right by here on this path. Okay, so then we go, whoop. Oh, and we'll go one, two. No, oh, come on. Well, actually, we could just take it from here because that is going to show the direction. Yep. Because the splitter told us what direction it was going to come from. Then we can bring this down. And where is it going to look best at? Right there? Yeah, we'll go right there. Oh, look at that. Okay. Bring all these modular frames down here. Or get them from here, I should say. be coming right out of there.
Okay, so now we, we're making 285 modular frames here. And, oh, that's what I did over here also on these first ones here. Clocked it down to 90%, so it's 3.9 per row here. So if we take, oh, see, I even did some more math. So 3.9 times 7 lines, that's 27.3. Um, 27.3 manufacturers times, was it 10? 273, was that it? Yes, 273. So that's going to leave uh, 13 left over. Or 12. You know what? Time for another sip of dew. Oh, yes. It'll be 12 that's left over. Okay. And I don't want to hook that up to it yet because then it's just going to start filling things up. I want to make sure all the belt work's going to be doing good. And then, of course, uh, connect all this stuff up. And then screws. Ooh. The first order of screws. Um, there, the one right there on the bottom. Okay, we're going to have to have three of them come up here. So what if um, we bring this up? Okay, it's going to be right there. Ooh, how is that going to work? Because then if we go one, two, three. And then we take this. Is that going to reach it? Yes. And how is this going to look? Splendid. Okay. Oh, but we're going to need a fourth one. Hmm. Actually, we're going to... Okay, so if we're coming... Ooh, we're going to need one, two, three... Yep, we'll need four of them. Actually, this one down here... Hmm. Yeah. I actually, oh my god, that one right there. Oh. Or do we use... Uh, yeah, let's use a conveyor lift. Oh, but I really like how that's working. You know what? Get out of the comfort zone. Build differently. Alright. So if we take this... Oh, yeah. All right, then this guy will zip along here. And it's going to be right about here. And then, whoop. Then this will be going right into there. You know what? We could connect that first one and take a look and see what we got going. Yes. And then these guys, so let's see, we're going to have to go seven. That's how far the belts will stretch, so that's one. Oop, is that right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And I believe it was right about there. Oh, smack dab in the middle between that edge and that one. Actually, that was just one over, wasn't it? Yeah. We go from there. One, two. Okay. Let's see if I can get it before the game save, and it's not going to work. <laughs> and during that brief uh, game save, I uh, gave me some time to contemplate, and the screws cannot go here. Uh, yeah, that, that that's not going to work. Uh, because <laughs> the encased industrial beams... Oh, and you're not going to work either, are you? Because i got to get the screws out of there. Uh, so let's go that way. And we'll take you to there. But these screws can... Wow, I never gave it... Oh my gosh. 
Wait, is this gonna work? Yeah, because yes, 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 because then we could take the Mark V and actually, I, oh, okay, so we'll have to set this up first. Let's see, so we're gonna go down this row right here. Why aren't you? Oh, because you want to do it up there. Okay. Then if we put the screws from there to there. Yep, that's nice and level. And then what if we take them from here to there? Because then, yes, because then all the belt work will be able to go underneath these screws as they're set. Um, the belts coming from here can go through there. And then with all of these other ones, boom, I can set up another conveyor lift. And in fact, you know what I can do? Um, let's do this. We can come down. Oh, no, no, we're going to have to go. Oh, no, I was going to say, well, no, we can bring it down to the ground and take another uh, conveyor lift and do this. So you're going to be right there. And then take that belt and whip it on in there. And then this one is right there. Okay. I think you got the screws figured out. Yeah, and then we can take a, a stackable conveyor pole and try it right about uh, there. Boom. Then the next one we'll bring down there. Okay. I think that's uh that's gonna work okay i'm gonna go ahead and lay out all this uh belt work and see if it is going to work before i bring over the encased industrial beams and the pipe so i'll see everybody in two seconds belt work is done over here for these guys however i did preload some of the screws well actually all of the screws just to make sure that everything was working everything's preloaded with the screws uh oh, you didn't see that clipping right there. But this turned out, oh, let's try this. A little bit uh, better than I expected. It was nice and easy. It's nice and neat. Uh, the only hiccup I had was uh, here. I kind of uh, forgot to tie in this one. So, boom, brought that up in here. Made it as neat as possible for all of this. Yeah. And then uh, brought the final two over. Uh, a little bit too steep for my liking, but hey, it's a factory. Set it, forget it, it's working. Now, oh yeah, really like this one. Uh, ooh, it's going to be interesting as soon as uh, <laughs> this starts running because you're going to have the screws, seven lines, boom, start pumping stuff out. Modular frames. Almost all of them are going to be working. Well, guess what modular frames take? They take um, reinforced iron plates and rods. And uh, the reinforced iron plates take, uh, oh, God, what is it? Screws and, um, let's see, reinforced screws and iron plates. Well, the screws take rods. Um, just... This setup is going to trigger a whole hell of a lot here in the ironworks, but I'm okay with that. Now, the thing is, though, um, I was producing exactly the number of reinforced iron, uh, not reinforced, uh, modular frames that we needed before the Project 12 before. Since we're going 0.3 over on this we are short those two modular frames per minute so i decided to put in a double buffer so this container is full and it has 2400 modular frames in it this is the stuff that i'm going to grab whenever i need to build stuff 
these two containers will have a total of 4,800 um, modular frames. We're too short. So, and oop, let's do this. So that's going to end up being 2,400 minutes. Well, if we divide that by a 60 minutes, that's 40 hours. So these two buffer containers can keep the factory running for 40 hours. I'm okay with that. So we're going to preload the modular frames. Get those going. Let it load up all of the manufacturers and then it'll start filling up these buffers. Uh, it's going to be going, uh, well, as soon as those guys get filled up, uh, what, maybe about 20 minutes to fill up uh, all of that? Uh, probably about between 15 and 20 minutes. Okay, that's taken care of. You know what? Let's go for a ride. Let's see what this is like. Because all these guys are going to come in here, hit the first splitter, boom. And then do their thing. And the rest of it going on. Well, let's see here. Is everything being split? Yep. Yep, that's being split. That's being split. And come on. One more. Okay. Yeah, it's going to take a while. So that's taken care of. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Reinforced iron plates. Come on, baby. You should be kicking in. Oh, yep. See, there goes some iron plates right there. Or rods. Sorry. Rods are going. Yep. Oh, there went the reinforced iron plates. Okay. It's slowly trickling. All right. So now we need to get. Boom. Oh, not this ride again. Sorry. Right, I'm trying to be all cool. Okay, encased industrial beams and two lines of steel pipes. Now the thing is, with the steel pipes, we need 810. A Mark V is 780 per minute. 30 per minute we're short. One line, probably, yeah, this one. <laughs> it's, this one, okay, encased industrial beams. And then 30 per minute on this line. Because I've got it set up on a merger there at the other end. So if we bring in... Um, no, I guess it's really not going to matter which one. Because it's they're both going to be 780. Well, capacity. But only one of them is going to be bringing in 30. So I guess it doesn't matter which one I tie it into. Okay, I was overthinking it. All right. Oh, man. This. Ooh. Now, the other thing that I did here, well, let's get down. Can we get down here? Yes, of course we can. But the thing is, are we going to survive? Yes, we will. We need to leave room for these reinforcing iron plates to go out somewhere. I don't know where the hell they're going to go, but they're going to go somewhere. And then we'll have these three sitting here. And we'll bring them on along here and plop them down. Uh, coming out. No, this side. Oh, shit. Did I? Yes, I did. Oops, I missed a bite. Oh, crappers. Oh, crappers. Okay, so I'm going to have to just adjust those a little bit. Because we're going to bring all of these um, steel pipes and encased industrial beams and along that conveyor line. Then, bam, we'll send them underground. Bring them along here and have them come through here. Well, actually, we could just do it right here also. Yeah, because they're going to be going underground anyways. Yep, okay, so, yeah, I planned it that way. Okay. Ooh, I'll meet you over there at the Steelworks. Meanwhile, at the Steelworks factory, it's time to grab some industrial beams, encased industrial beams. Now, they're coming out six per minute. We need... 270. Oh, and uh, I, forget, I can't remember how many machines we got here on this one. Um, let's see. Uh, let's try it this way. Boom. Oh, you're not going to give it to me, are you? How close do I get? Okay, there it is. 14. 
So that's uh, 60, 84, 84 times two is 168 per line. Oh my gosh. Okay. So 270 divided by, was it 168? I said 1.6 lines. Uh, I, damn it. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. I didn't underclock it. Did I underclock any of these? Nope. How about down here at this end? Oh, yeah. And ignore that not being uh, symmetrical. Oops. I wasn't going to redo the whole thing. Ah. Okay. That was. Oh, and I think it was because of the beams. Okay. Well, either way. All right, so we're going to have uh, 13 times 6 is 60, 78, and 81. So that's 162 per line. Okay. So let's try it again. 270. About 162, that's 1.6666666 lines. So that's 1. And we're going to need 0.6. And I want to take them through this corridor. And then run them up along here like we had planned way back in the distant past. Bring them on through here. Oh, man. Then Okay. Yeah, yep, this is going to work. Yeah, and then uh, this is just marking that this is the center right there. That Boom. So then we'll plop them underground, bring them on over, and probably keep them underground until we get over to there, and then pop them up. Okay, that is the plan. Ooh, now steel pipes. Yeah, uh, each one of these. Boom are doing um, 780 per line. So we'll have one line, and let's see, we'll have to have a splitter on this one. So let's set up a splitter now, and we'll have it go this way, straight out, yeah. There it is. Ooh. No, it's gonna have to be a smart splitter, because if we send out two lines, they're going to alternate. So half from this one and then half from this one. So, But then if we put a smart splitter in, we can tell it to... Oh, oh let's try that one. There we go. So then when we start taking that out of this one, we'll have any going forward and then the overflow to the left okay so then this is going to be an outgo where's organization a little display sign and then we'll call this uh, steel pipe and this will be 750 per minute output. Yes, and then the 30 will shoot along this way. Oh, ooh, but let's let's get this situated first. Ooh, now how tight do I want to keep this? Yeah, we'll, we'll send it right down this one. Okay. Now let's check to make sure this is going to clear everything. Well, I know you're getting close. There it was. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so that's the first one. And then... Oh! How about grab that one? How about we just hit the shortcut key? All right. Now, the 30 on this one. Oh, no. Okay. Well, let me copy 
those settings. And, oh. Smart splitter. Boom. Now we'll take this one over. And that should be right next to it. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, that's right. We got to go into this lane. Then this. Right there. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, this might work out because that'll be... Wait. We'll have one line here. 150... 150 per minute per line. Uh-oh. Now I'm really curious. Okay, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, 13. Okay, so 12.5 per line. So 25. 25 times 6 is 120. 150 per line. Okay. Well, I thank myself for putting that uh, sign there. Okay, 150. So. Now, let's try it again. We need 270 divided by 150 is 1 1.8 lines. We're going to need this one. Yep, this one. And 0.8 of this. So, if we take... Oh, another smart splitter. And we'll... You know what? Let's just bring it right out here. Oh, my God. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so if we bring it right here... Oh, I forgot to paste it. Bink! Okay. So now this will be coming in from here. So now we want uh, we want the overflow to go that direction. And for now, we'll just have it go straight out that direction. Hmm. Or do we? No, because we, we might... No, we're going to send the second line that way also. Oh, damn it. Okay, let me move. Ooh. Okay, so we will put one smart splitter, kind of, uh, let's, let's, let's try this. And then this, we'll bring it around this direction, and nope, okay, let's move it back one. Is that going to bring it? Yep, straight down. Okay. All right, now this one. Oh, but we're going to need a merger. Okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is... Oh, so... <laughs> to put a merger in here. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Okay, let's take you out. You out. And we'll put a merger right here. And the output going this direction, and boom. Okay. And as a reference point, we'll bring you on down. Is that right? You're going to be going right here. Okay. So now if we take the smart splitter. And let's try right there. Yes. Okay. Maybe we can just get it without using a support. Yep. Okay. Now. Um, any. And 
overflow. And we want overflow and any right there. Okay. So this is going to be 30 outbound right here. Because we need, we'll have a full 150 coming out of here. Boom. So we're going to need 120. And th then this will be 30 left over. And. Okay, that is the layout. Now to go ahead and get all of this belted all the way the hell out there. And, whoa. Yeah, this is, this is going to take a while. It'll be fun. I'll just crank up some music. And sip some dew. And get things done. So, uh, when it is all finished, I'll show you what I did. I'll see you then. There you have it. Everything is belted on over there. Or I should say the belts are belted on over there. So let's get this going. And we'll start sending things woo, on their way. Um, I, I will, I, well, I'll show and tell. I do have a confession about what happened, um, as I was belting all of this. Um, it just happens to be down over here. Uh, my mistake, I needed to keep the encased industrial beams on that line. Because when it gets back to the factory, it should be on the inside, which is on the left-hand side. Uh, so... Uh, I, I've been debating whether to show this or not, but to kind of hide it, just as long as you guys don't tell anybody, um, I did some clipping just to take it from the <laughs> outside to the inside. Um, but please, please, d don't tell anybody. But I, I've been getting this clipping out of my system little by little. So, well, it plops down there like that, comes on over. And Boogie's over to this setup right here. Oh, and there goes the iron. All that steel's being made. And then coming on down here. There, now it's back on the inside. Oh, yes, there we go. And, oh, and I preloaded the uh, manufacturers to fill them up with uh, steel pipes, encased industrial beams, screws, and modular frames. However, the power is not connected because I wanted to do, do some synchronized construction. Uh, it's been a while since I've done that. I, I've missed it. Um, I figured, you know what? Since this is the first factory with the manufacturers, let's do it. And a uh, side note, doing all this belt work with all these trains coming over here um it was a little nerve-wracking and probably in real life when i hear a train i'll be like oh okay yeah it'll just phase right through me no problem uh, i gotta be aware of that but just uh then coming from here from foundation level had to pop it up one and then its journey continues on and you can kind of see just how much uh, train traffic has been going on through here and, yep, they're just zipping around, hauling their coal and iron. Yep, that one's a coal. And, and again, I'm really liking how this belt work in between the rail lines is, is doing. Oh, there goes some more iron. <laughs> okay, now, you come down here. I had to take the iron for this, and I originally had it at this first level. So I had to flip-flop them around, and that's what I did. So the iron 
does its thing and keeps on grooving and moving over there to the other side. And then the steel pipes and the encased industrial beams come along and shoot on up. And in fact, uh oh. Oh, the steel pipes? Uh oh, what happened? Why did you guys stop moving? All right, we got to do some investigation. So it is the outside line. So, oh, maybe it did fill it up that fast. Holy cow, I guess it did. All right, let's double check everything. Yep, well, you know what? We'll have to make sure that they all made it down here on these last manufacturers. Just checking out to see it's encased industrial beams and steel pipe on both of them. Everything. Both belts are filled. Okay. All right. Boom, boom. Ba -do -do boom. And the last one. Yep, you bet. Oh. And since I want the synchronized construction going on for a while, I figured one container should be enough because the... Um, Heavy modular frames are only going to be used in the adaptive control units and the fused modular frames. That's it. And obviously with 54 per minute, uh, not too much is going to be happening. Okay, so let's get it going. And the connection line is going to be right here. This to there. Now, nothing has moved because we're going to do some synchronized construction. Let's get down here at the end. Oh yeah, all the machines are winding winding up, winding up. Yep, there we go. Okay. Boom. And if we look down each belt, everything should come out at the same moment. Ah. <sighs> all right, here we go. <gasps> there it is and everything should be popping out at the same time oh yeah there ah oh. ah 54 heavy modular frames per minute all right uh oh uh oh Oh, that's right, because we've only got four machines Woo! per line, and that's all it's going to take. Ah, love it. Okay, it looks like everybody's making some. All right, I'm just watching the belts, make, seeing if stuff is getting fed down into it. Yes, yes it is. Oh, the screws. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Okay, this is, see, this is what I was expecting. Everything kind of filled up here. All right, let's check this machine, see how the screws are doing. Are they bringing it? Oh, man. Is it going to get it back up to 500 because everything was preloaded? Oh, okay. So every 30 seconds, one comes out. It, you know, it looks like it's going to do it. I'm just checking the rest of the stuff. I'm not worried about It's the screws, but uh, everything should. Oh, come on. 500. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, okay. I will be stress testing this. And in fact, uh, let's see here. I'm going to put down another storage container. Because we're going to need one to house the stuff that we need when it comes time to build. Oh, come on, line up. There we go. And we'll get a smart splitter set up. Boom. Uh, yep, there it is. Okay, you know what? We'll just line it up right there with that one. Okay, and take one of you guys. Yeah, well, we can't do that. Let's do that. All right, and now this, any, and the overflow goes there. It should be coming out. There it is. All right. 
Because let's see, we're going to have, let's see, these are stacks of 50. So 24, that's 4,800. So if we've got 4,800 divided by 54 per minute, yep, it'll take one hour and, oh, what am I thinking? Yeah, that's 88 minutes. So yeah, an hour and a half, an hour and a half to fill up both containers. Oh, look at that. Yeah. You know what? Let's do there. Yeah. Okay, this time that should be the thumbnail. Oh, look at all of it. Yeah. Wow, and there's no gap. Oh, there it is. Is it? Oh, yep, yep. Yep, there's one. There's there's a couple more. Okay. That's looking much better at 54 per minute. Yeah. Ah. Oh, sorry. Running around way too much. Let's uh, let's see. Is this Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I'm going to double check my numbers. We got, yeah, 200 per minute. So we've got, and this, oh, 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 poopers. How about we go to 90? There. <gasps> Copy settings. That's where, oh, man. Okay, my boo-boo, but that's a, whoa. And that's why we stress test this stuff. And paste it. Oh, no. Really? Oh, man. When I pasted it, it emptied out everything. Oh. Oh, no, man. Yeah, see how it emptied out everything? Okay, let's help fill this up a little bit. There we go. All right. Uh, let's see, I did this one. Yes. All right, let's change this to 90. got that one and I believe I got this one also yes okay there now the screws will be stopped screwing around and that should work out pretty damn good then yeah see that one line that only needs 30 per minute it's already backing up <laughs> I love it okay and this thing should be just going non-stop with the steel pipes on that one along with all of the screws running non-stop those constructors Taking the iron rods, which require ingots, which requires ore. Oh, this is, oh. Yeah. Dang, this is nice. Okay. Little gaps, all right. Yeah, dang. That's already been, what, uh, five minutes? Yeah, well, let's clean up this. Boom. Oh, yeah. Let's get her up here. And how about we do something like that? We'll go right here to the edge. There. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we can get some of the uh, heavy modular frames in the screen. Boop. Oh, all right. Wow, 54 heavy modular frames per minute. Love it. All right, thank you for joining me on this journey in Satisfactory. And as always, enjoy life and be safe. And drink the dew.